This is Jupiter Today for the 4th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west. Europa is also in quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede is in quadrant three, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant three, or quadrant four, heading east. By six hours UTC, EO has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant three, heading west, but getting near its western elongation. Europa has transited Jupiter and is now also in quadrant three, heading west. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. Ganymede is at its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east the rest of the day. At 1931 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest distance it'll be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 423,544.7 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is about to start moving behind Jupiter. Europa still in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east, and Callisto continues in quadrant four, heading east. There are nine Jupiter satellite events today. At 2.27 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 3.03, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 4.44 UTC, the transit of EO ends. At 5.20, the shadow of EO egresses. At 7.36 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. At 8.40 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 10.30 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 11.44, the shadow of Europa egresses. And then at the end of the day, 23.44 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter as seen from Earth. On the chart here, this blue line represents the direction towards Earth, and this gray line represents the direction towards the Sun. Okay, there are two satellite mutual events today. The first goes from 1712 to 1718 UTC, when Europa occults EO. It's a six-minute event with an impact parameter of 0.075 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.586 magnitudes. And this is a nice distance from Jupiter, 95.37 arc seconds. So photometric and photographic records of this uh, should be done if possible. Visibility of this is all of Asia and a lot of Europe and about half of Africa and maybe some of Australia down here as well. The second event goes from 1811 to 1817 UTC, and that's when Europa eclipses EO. It's a 6.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.46 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.849 magnitudes. And again, this is a nice distance away from Jupiter, 85.64 arc seconds and Europa and EO are 22.91 arc seconds apart. And visibility of this is all of Asia and all of Europe will now be able to see this event and quite a bit of Africa will be able to see this event. The point here in the center is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. So this just shows the visibility of this event on the Earth. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. See what's happening in the Jupiter system over the next 24 hours. You can see that EO is gonna be moving between the Sun and Jupiter and 
That's a transit as seen from Earth. Europa's right behind. Leo is also going to move in front of Ganymede, but I don't think that we're going to see that from this longitude. We might see EO move in front of Callisto there. Maybe someday actual people will be able to witness that. That'll be fabulous. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 354, the second at 1350, and the third at 2346 UTC. There were some new images sent to me on email. And I wanted to add a little info to the image that I showed yesterday, give proper credit. And then these additional images were sent to me today. And there was some new radio data as well. And one more image to show off. Nice and sharp uh, shadow there. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, eight minutes, 19.2 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 28 minutes, 33.9 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today, as seen from Earth, is 151.435 degrees and that's 1.106 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 5.095 degrees, and that's 0.183 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 665,447,259 kilometers, and that's 1,135,336 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 47,305.67 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,686.42 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,845,167 kilometers. And that's 45,233 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,884.71 kilometers per hour. And that's 1.29 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. At zero hours UTC, the central meridian, CM1, 134.18 degrees. CM2, 316.61 degrees. CM3, 231.85 degrees. Time of this recording is 0 hours 42 minutes on the 4th of March 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to those who have subscribed and are watching. Always appreciate hearing your comments and fielding any questions you might have, suggestions for improving this podcast. I'm always trying to think about ways to give a different perspective on this very dynamic system. 
thanks for sending the images and you can send all of these things to the email show and until tomorrow i bid you peace